We are back in the kitchen now with James and you have got a 4th of July American kind of tribute. Indeed, yes. Yeah. So it's Independence Day, like yeah. you said, you know, massive, massive day in the States, national holiday day, yeah. really. And, um, yeah, they celebrate with food as well and having a good time. So, yeah, I've incorporated a recipe using turkey. They're, they eat double the amount of turkey Ooh. that we eat. It's lean, it's low in fat, it fits in really well with the uh, Bikini Promise diet plus one as well. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so it's a great turkey meatball recipe. Talking of Independence Day, it's been celebrated over here as well. Hampton Court Palace as well. An Independence Day garden. Garden. It's gorgeous blooming at the there. moment. And the sun is shining looking, looking, finally. Looking, looking gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really, lovely. really pretty. As is well. it true that turkey makes you sleepy because of something that's in it as well? Um, I have no idea about that one. Because everyone falls asleep on Christmas Day, but yeah, in my I, case, I that's think, like a sherry and I a think, vegetarian I, sausage. I think that's a bit more than the turkey. Yeah, yeah exactly. I right. know. I've heard rumours. Go on. Right, back to my meatballs mm. anyway. Okay, what we're going to do <laughs> over here? We've got some uh, browned onions. Okay, which we've just had on the hob. I've just put them in a minimal amount of oil. I'm going to get a lemon and add a bit of lemon zest, and this just brings out the flavour. Okay and it gives us obviously a little citrusy kick. Yeah, this yeah. is what I'm after. But you want to cook Spread. it out, otherwise it tastes that raw, harsh bitterness. To that, we're going to add some smoked paprika as well. And uh, again, you want to cook the spice out because it will just taste raw and it just won't be any good at all. So yeah. the idea is you let that soak up the oil around the pan, turn off the heat, let it do its thing, let it cool down, OK? And in true style, I've got one done, OK? Because it'll be too hot to add to the turkey mince, yeah. which is, in this instance, turkey mince. Very lean, no bones, obviously, no skin or anything like that. Is Gray it quite cheap to buy yeah. as well? Yeah, it is. Yeah. This one goes a long way. Very, very good cost mm -hmm. per head. OK, so we're going to add the cooled mixture of the paprika and everything else into, into the bowl. Uh, to that, I've got some uh, oregano as well, or if you're in the States, oregano. Oregano. Right, so that goes in there as well. And about a, a, good, a good teaspoon or tablespoon, in fact, if you want it strong, OK? Yeah. Touch of salt, touch of pepper, in with an egg. That goes in there as well. And then also a few breadcrumbs, OK? Now, obviously, if you're gluten-free, you could try this recipe with rice flour instead. OK, okay just a different angle. OK, let's get everything mixed up together. And uh, really, there's only one way to do this, Amanda. I'm going to get my hands in there as well. I was going to say, get right? your hands in. I would volunteer, yeah, but yeah, I no. don't fancy it. No, you don't fancy it. And it, won't be good for, it won't be any good for your nails at all, right? OK. <laughs> They'll be there for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> You're picking it, picking it out. OK, right, so here we go. A good, um, a good squash and squeeze together. Regarding seasoning as well, you know, I think it's enough with the herbs that are already in there. The oil's minimal. There was garlic in with them onions as well. The recipe's on the website, OK? OK, perfect. Now, what I want to do is... is uh, this is isn't necessarily to wash my hands, it's to wet my hands. And the idea is Make it stops it. It's exactly, exactly. Yeah, slight sliding. A bit more sliding. That's a good term. <laughs> Loving that. Okay, right. But as you can see, I've got I'm some done. I'm doing really well to keep everything together here. I've got some done here at the front. Okay. So yeah. we've got some that have already been coloured. These aren't cooked. Okay. Just into the oil, let them come, um, you know, get a bit of a colour crust on them. Excuse me while I just have a quick wash up here. Yeah. Um, and uh, basically, you just want to colour, preheat the oven. So once you've coloured them all over into a preheated oven... So just a golden brown? Just a golden brown like these ones here. Yeah. About 180 degrees. Bang it in the oven, about five to six minutes, OK? okay. Now, they do cook quick. Like I said before, they are laying on flat. Of course, yes, I've got some already pre-done. Now, we're going to serve them with a summer salad. This um, is the bit I think looks amazing. Time of year is stunning, yeah? Very, very quickly, let's just check this out. Broad beans, um, perfect this time of year. A touch of olive oil. A touch of lemon goes in there too as well. Um, also some mint, and I'm literally just going to rip fresh mint. It's the taste of the sun, oh, this, to me. So, broad okay. beans are my favourite thing. And then to just... You can tweak this and do different cheeses if oh. you want, but I'm using salty feta, so for oh. that instance, obviously I'm not going to load it up with loads of salt. I will add a little pinch of pepper in there only, OK? Mm -hmm. Right, so that goes in there, there. Touch more lemon juice, just for the acidity. OK, and here we go. I've got you some chickpea ones done. Ooh. So there's one there for you. I've Ooh. just left it in a, in, a salad, in a salad leaf. But these on the hop here, chickpeas, the in. recipe, again, on the website. And all I've done is taken the lettuce leaf, um, take some of your, your salad mixture, fill up your leaf, get your hot turkey balls in there, and then mm. you can do different sauces, different dressings, whatever you fancy. On that goes on top. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's a taste of the summer, low mm. in fat as well. That works? That works for me. Check that recipe really on the website. Good. Really good one, that. I will be checking Chick on the website. Chickpea patties with a little bit of chilli in there, that oh, one. Really good. Right. Thank you ever so much.